out and about in the wilds of London shooting some street photography with the ZFC and the DF. Uh, we may or may not swap at some point during the day. but the We may is, not. We may not. But we're, um, we're going to shoot with some manual focus lenses. We're going to do some street photography. It's going to be very cool. I just said that and now it's not cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make it not look like a film camera, but look at mm -hmm. my screen. So I am gonna set my uh, front function button to choose non-CPU lens data. Mm. I, I would recommend doing that with the DF as well, personally. Or I can just stick to 35 mil. Or you can just shoot 35 all day, but because I keep changing lenses, I'm gonna do that. So that will be, because ordinarily, I would probably assign a function button to the autofocus modes, mm. but we're just shooting manual today. That's true. So I'm going to do that. Yeah. You're so clever, Becky. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I'm going to put focus peaking on because obviously I have an electronic viewfinder and it's it's quite tough. So when we swap over, you'll know when we swap over, which we will <laughs> at some mm -hmm. point. Yes. Um, you'll know that focus peaking is on, okay? Mm -hmm. You ready for that? I just took a picture. Um, okay, well, I'm going to turn function button to non-CPU levels data. Oh, and what a great idea! Yeah, um, well, you see, I thought if I'm not going to do this, who else will do? So, um, and then I'm going to create a set of profiles for the lens that we got with us. That's a good idea. Exactly. Okay, so I've got the 24 f2 on here mm -hmm. because it's kind of like a 36 millimeter. On your camera, yeah. So then we've got 28 f2, we've got 35 1.4 and 35 f2, yeah. and we've got 85 mil as well. Yeah, which on this one will be about a 127. Which, which is, is not a bad. nice focal length. Exactly. So, um, I think we're quite well covered. I Absolutely. noticed how neither of us went for a 50. Nah. <laughs> just like, but forget. technically, you got 35, so yeah. that should cover you on 50 mil. Yeah. I'm just going to use 35 1 4 because it's the best it's lens. That's how I roll. So we're basically shooting about the same focal length. Right exactly. Yeah, which one is which? <laughs> so what do you think of the ZFC? It's nice. It's smaller, smaller. Yeah. Yeah, electronic viewfinder is actually brighter than what you have the optical viewfinder there. So the focusing, especially with focusing peak and activator, yeah. is really good. Mm. Yeah, so I like that about this. But at the same time, with controls, I prefer the controls on DF a little bit more. Okay. So I have a little bit of internal dilemma because I like them both. And I'm not sure which one I prefer. I personally, having used the DF quite a lot already, don't really feel there's much difference between the two. Like mm. it doesn't, for me, it doesn't consciously feel like I have to re-learn a new camera. Mm -hmm. This felt very natural. I got on with it immediately. Bearing in mind that I also use my Z50, my Z6 a lot, so it was very familiar mm. in that sense. I think if I went from like a DSLR, mm -hmm. for example, straight into a ZFC, I might be a little bit confused at first. Mm. Especially like location of alt ISO. Yeah, but yes, exactly. But to add to that, because I use the FM3A, the ZFC is like a, it's a perfect companion camera. Absolutely. To the FM3A. So overall, the DF is bigger and bulkier. One thing that I like about this is the fact that I can see my aperture. Mm. 
when I'm shooting, whereas this one you have to keep looking at what aperture you're That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you can go with the lenses designed for this camera, yeah. but who would do that? Why? Yeah. Yeah. It's too it's easy. Like to exactly. Throw a nice manual focus lens on it. Make sure if you want light shoot wide, get the widest lens possible because you need to uh, keep an eye on the 1.5 DX crop as well. Yes. So we put the 24 mil here, which is effectively 36 mm focal distance. But if you shoot in a lot of urban environments, sometimes you want to go wider than that. Yeah, exactly. So 35 on here, 24 on there. It gives you about the same field of view. I like it. It's nice. Yeah. I think it's, well, the pictures will speak for themselves, I think. And it definitely looks the part. It does.